We have been blessed by Chris Roberts himself. We have had a letter from the chairman, and I think this is potentially the biggest news and the biggest update we've had maybe in years, maybe in the whole history of the project. We are potentially going to get to a state by the end of this year, slash next year, we'll come to that in a minute, where the game has moved on to being pretty much tech complete in terms of the big milestones. Now, in this update, there's all sorts of things. There's office updates, Bar Citizen, Citizen Con has effectively been pared down this year. No physical one and no keynote again. So similar to last year's. But we're not going to worry too much about that stuff because this channel is all about the technical side of starters and performance type things. So let's get into it. There are two key things to talk about from this. We've got the persistent entity streaming or PES as they're now calling it. And we've got the server meshing update. So first of all, let's do persistent entity streaming. Now to best explain some of this, I'm going to just read it from the, the letter because it is pretty complicated. So to understand it first, if you physically attach an item inside your vehicle, like a rifle to a weapon rack, when you log out or stow the vehicle, it will remember all the attached items and anything in that vehicle's virtual in inventory or a player's inventory. So that's currently what we've got. However, if you l drop or place something loosely, even inside the ship you own, it won't be associated with any player inventory. So when you log out or if the server crashes, the item will not be there when logging on or rejoining. With PES, we are recording the state of every dynamic object in the game, irrelevant of whether it's owned or ever even held by a player. That means you could drop a gun or a med pen in a forested area on Microsec and return several days later after logging out to find the gun or med, med pen still there, assuming another player didn't grab them. That's a huge update. They said but slightly before this that this, no other game is really trying to do anything like this on this scale, especially. Uh, and what this has taken them is a long time. They go on to say actually that they, they were going one direction, but then in early 2021, they changed direction. So we, we used to talk about things like the eye cache and all that sort of thing, but that basically didn't work out and they had to switch the direction for latency reasons is what they, what they say. But they are happy to report after 16 months of extremely focused work by 18 engineers, three dedicated QA and four producers spread between CIG and Turbulent who are managing the backend database in the cloud and its related services that the team were able to actually demonstrate persistent entity streaming working in a meeting last week. So this isn't still, this is a theory or this is what we're going to do. They've actually got this working to a certain extent, not to the extent that we've got it yet, but we'll come on to that in a minute. Paul Rindell, our director of engineering for online tech, spun up a new server, populated the entity graph and went off into the universe basically and put some things out. So he has a small scattering of cans along with an 890 jump and an anvil arrow. He then killed the server and the client. And normally with what we've currently got now, those cans especially would have definitely been gone. There would be no way to track them. But he restarted the server and then warped to the location in Aberdeen and everything was still there. Uh, and so it's a huge milestone as the state of the universe was recorded to the backend database. And when he restarted the server, it connected to the replication layer, which had initialized itself from the database and continued with the universe state as he left it. Now, that might not sound particularly interesting, but they've been trying to do this for absolutely ages. It's been years that they've been talking about full persistence, the idea that everything will be tracked, everything will persist. And so it's actually a big deal and it's a huge deal in terms of moving on to server meshing. This stuff had to come first. Now, because this is a fundamental change to how the game works, how these things are recorded, the state is recorded to backend databases, cloud, malarkey, all that sort of stuff. CRG wants to do a long PTU cycle with this one. They think three months to make sure they can iron out any weird cases where people have dropped 100 cans in a forest somewhere or they've moved bodies to Microtech. The, the medical gowns that we always pick up and take off as soon as we respawn, they could become a problem. They need to work out what to do with those things. There will be a limit to how many things they can just leave out lying around. And I wouldn't be absolutely shocked if our actual personal client performance would go down, especially in the PTU, but even when this comes alive, it's gonna take a long time to work this out. I would not be shocked if that was doubled. I wouldn't be shocked if this was in the PTU for six months. I wouldn't be shocked if it was in the PTU for a whole year. You don't know. In the past, these sorts of things, the big tech hurdles have taken a long time to get through. So it just wouldn't be shocking to me if this 
just takes a long time to get to a place where they're happy to release it. But it's interesting that they've committed in some ways to, to actual dates. Um, they're talking about late Q3 for this to to be released potentially. So it's interesting that they've committed to dates. I'm sure Chris hasn't just gone rogue and written this letter on its own. I don't think it's it is it's not coincidence this, that this has come just before Invictus because I think I said at the start of the year with, or with the roadmap changes with the roadmap basically previously being used to hype us all up and then we all got disappointed with that gone CIG needed some hype tools to get us buying ships and I think oh, to be honest this is one of them I don't think that's a bad thing the game has to be backed and we have to we have to fund the project but I think the timing of this it, it just makes sense that just before Invictus we're all going to be excited people are going to be flinging money everywhere but there we go they're also aiming to get things like salvage and the gen 12 uh, bulk of the gen 12 will work out with 318 and so it's it's going to be good it's going to be a good patch but they have obviously acknowledged that they don't want to do what they did before with uh, three no two six three i think it was where we basically had no content for absolute ages they are doing a content patch and this sounds like a really good idea because the game hasn't fundamentally changed that much in terms of actually things to do things around it so the medical gameplay the inventory stuff selling they are kind of core mechanics maybe of the game but the actual missions and things you do haven't really shifted for a few patches to be fair and so you uh morphologist keeps getting himself in uh, interesting water by talking about this but i think ultimately he's right the game hasn't changed and actually even these changes themselves on their own they're not a change to the game that we play really they're back-end changes but CRG have, have basically covered this by going for a content patch uh, 317.2 I think this is a great idea it will really depend on what content they bring because yeah the game for people who've been playing for a long time and feel very samey you're just doing the same things over and over again so we're hoping for a bit of extra mission content some live events they've talked about we've obviously seen leaks of what's coming up uh, potentially at Orizon it's a good plan so then let's move on to server meshing and the plan for this is to get this to Evercarty at the end of the year now this definitely doesn't sound anywhere near as solid and they've got no working example of this it's all obviously dependent on what they're doing right now with the persistent entity streaming so they are heavily conditioning the end of this year they think well it might well push into Q1 again I wouldn't be absolutely shocked if we it wouldn't be crazy that we didn't get this into the end of next year. I just think this work that they're doing, it's so huge and it's so fundamental to the project. They've just got to get it right and they've got to take their time. So, again, I think these estimates, these are obviously a bit further out. They're not coming. This is talking about the end of the year. Now, the end of the year in terms of CRG's ability to predict. CRG, it's in. we're in May now. Never have CRG ever predicted anything accurately past, maybe past a month. So I think it will be absolutely shocking if this really does come anywhere near Q4 this year. I do think I'll be shocked if it comes in Q1 next year. But it's next up. We've got static server meshing first, the idea that a server will look after a set area. And then after that, once that work is done, we are then looking at dyna dynamic server meshing where a server, its influence will potentially expand and contract as needed. So. There's no, he doesn't talk much about this, Chris, in this letter. It's obviously still quite theoretical, this work, and they still have to get the PEZ stuff done first. But in theory, if everything went perfectly well, we would see this this year. And that means Pyro. It means 4.0. It means a whole heap of stuff for Pyro coming along. Stuff that they've been teasing for ages. And I think they'll be teasing for a lot longer. Often this game is re referred to as a tech demo, and that's not really fair. But actually, compared to what CIG and Chris Roberts, their vision is, what we have now is a bit of a tech demo in terms of the actual tech. We've just got a very, very limited version of the game based on this server meshing technology that will come along. Take Chris Roberts' dates with a pinch of salt. Not a pinch of salt, a whole bag of salt, because he's amazing, he's the reason that we've got this far, but his history with dates is shocking. And I, I just would not expect this to get to us this year. Right, but there we go. That's enough for this one. See you soon. Bye.